For over seven hours, Barbadians tuned in. They opened their hearts and their wallets, and they showed the people of the Bahamas just how much they care. And local artists, singers, dancers, and musicians ensured they were well entertained. It wasn't long after the 3 p.m. start of the Mediathon that some of the first donors showed up here at the CBC. From the $50 each donated by Little Emma and Haley to the $20,000 donated by the Barbados Light and Power Company, Barbadians heard and responded to the message that no amount was too small to share. And so throughout the evening, the scenes were much the same. Pledges came from as far as Cuba, with Barbados ambassador there, Philip St. Hill, explaining via phone that the CARICOM Councillor Corps came together to make a donation. We as a group of uh, heads of mission here, we got together on Thursday and we each made personal donations uh, as a, to, to the effort. I, I am not at liberty to say how much each gave, but it was a uh, is more than a small sum. Acting Prime Minister George Payne also joined the Mediathon in studio, presenting a $20,000 check on behalf of the Barbados Labour Party in his capacity as chairman. I must um, thank um, Prime Minister Mortley for the effort that was placed in ensuring that she brought home to us mm -hmm. um, the, the, the seriousness um, or, or that the injury that could come to Barbados as a result of, of, of the hurricane. And having known that, um, I, I, I sort of feel for the people of, of the Bahamas, um, the people of Abaco, um, when you look at the devastation uh, which that country has suffered, it Indeed. very well could have, could, have, could have happened to Barbados. Several Caribbean leaders also called into the Mediathon to share their own experiences with deadly systems, as well as pledging their contributions for Bahamas. The OECS countries committing to 100,000 U.S. dollars each. At last count, individuals of all ages, businesses, large and small, churches and other organizations offered up $440,956.41. All in an effort to help Bahamas rise again. Lisa Broom, CBC News.